Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Harley and I am obsessed with all things Trader Joe's. This is the June haul. I'm so excited to show you all the things that we like for summer that we got. There's tons more in the store that we didn't get. If you haven't already done so, please give this video a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and let's get into the June 2022 Trader Joe's haul. Starting with the cold items, this is in the refrigerator section. These are fully cooked organic chicken nuggets. I'm excited about these for those lazy afternoons or lazy nights. Um, this stays for about a month or two in the refrigerator depending on the date of your package. Here is a shot of the back for you. The seasoned waffle fries make a new addition to the frozen section, which is super exciting. These are uh, 1.4 pounds, 20 ounce bag. Here is a shot of your ingredients along with your nutrition facts. And it does come with the air fryer instructions as well as the regular oven. These look super yummy. The organic coleslaw kit is back. For those of you that don't want to hassle with making your own, it includes the dressing as well as the vegetables. Here is a shot of the back for you. This is a super great side to have and it will save you a lot of time and you can make it ahead and just let it kind of sit and marinate. One of the more interesting items that came out are these artichoke timbales, artichoke hearts that are baked with mozzarella. I cannot wait to try. Here is a shot of the back, the nutrition, and the ingredients. Again, they have uh, instructions that are for the microwave as well as for the regular conventional oven. And these are in the freezer section. Also in the freezer section, they have the peaches and cream tart, which is one of my favorite. They also have that key lime pie for summertime. Uh, we didn't buy one this time. They'll be around for a while. I know that the peaches and cream is not as around Excuse me. I know the peaches and cream is not around as long. Here's a shot of the ingredients as well as the nutrition facts. And this is super yummy, flaky as can be, and just melt in your mouth. Delicious. I remember them from last year. I love them. I also like their apple tarts in the fall. But this is where it's at right now for us. The vegan spinach and cashew ravioli are new. I was a little hesitant. Um, I bought them last month and I did try them before I put them on the haul because I didn't want to put them on here if they weren't good. And let me tell you, I could not tell the difference. They have spinach. The uh, cheese filling is a cashew. So... I couldn't tell, you boil them up and they are fantastic. Put whatever sauces you like on them. Uh, it does have sunflower oil in it, but for a vegan ravioli, these are absolutely amazing. I hope they're not just seasonal or not just a limited time and then keep them with their regular raviolis, which are all out now, your corn and burrata, your lobster, they're all there now. These are the ones that we decided to get. And of course, it would not be summertime without that cold pressed watermelon juice. This is super yum. It is just the watermelon. Let me see if I can get this for you. I'll shake it. Maybe it'll be easier. There we go. This is just the watermelon as well as a little bit of lemon juice to keep it fresh. It is 140 calories for the bottle and it is so yummy. Refreshing summertime drink that doesn't have added sugars. This is great. 
All the fruits are starting to come out now. These are the Saturn peaches. They are a limited time. They look a little funny, but they taste so yummy. Um, we picked these up, and we also picked up my favorite, favorite summertime um, treat, which is the Sun Gold um, Zespery Kiwis. These are absolutely the best kiwis that you will ever eat. Uh, I highly recommend grabbing them all you can. Here's a shot of the nutrition. And it does not get better than these guys. So let me go put the cold stuff away and we'll get on with the haul. Back for the season are the Campari tomatoes. I love to cook with these tomatoes or put them in salads. They're so good. Half of them are gone already. Um, I wanted to make sure that you grab these while you can. We usually eat the um, heavenly Marzano tomatoes or like mini San Marzano plum tomatoes with our salads. But this is the time for the Campari, so go grab those. And if you want, you can make a great um, tomato and onion salad with maybe some cucumber with these Vidalia onions that are now in season. So grab them. We already dug in. This is a two pound bag and these were super sweet and delicious. They're great to caramelize up and put on things as well as to put into salads or on burgers. So go ahead and grab those while you can. So we usually eat the refried pinto beans when we do like our taco night or Mexican nights. I, every time I walk down the aisles at Trader Joe's, I'm always amazed by things that I either didn't know they had or have never seen. Um, these are the Mexican cowboy pinto beans. I don't think I've ever seen them or bought them before. I don't know if they're new or they're just a substitute or what, but this is made with avocado oil. And here is a shot of the ingredients, super, super clean. And the calories for the whole entire bag, it's 200 calories. There are two servings. Um, a serving is considered a half a cup and you can heat it in the microwave or the stove. It's a um, great addition to have. And it is a vegetarian item and they are shelf stable for I think this one is shelf stable till February. So if you're looking for shelf stable items that have uh, clean ingredients that you can throw into meals, this is a great one. Another shelf stable item is the new organic spaghetti squash nests. These are dried nests that are ready to boil up. It is a vegan product from Trader Joe's, relatively new. Here is a shot of the back. It is just the spaghetti squash. There's nothing added to it. It's dried and packaged up for you. So if you're looking for a healthy pasta alternative or you want to add this into like a salad or something, this is something that they have now. All right, enough of the healthy items. Let's move on to their desserts that they have. The sea salt brownie bites are in. They are here. Here is a shot of the bottom and back. These are better than their regular ones. I really like the little bit of salt that's on it. It adds a great depth of flavor. And, of course, it wouldn't be the season without a new mousse cake. These are the mini chocolate um, layered mousse cakes. Super yummy. Pad them. They come in all different times of year. Different packaging. Different shapes. Sometimes they're vanilla. Sometimes they're chocolate. Sometimes they're something else. Score these while you can. They're seasonal also seasonal that I saw this week. Um, I'm a sucker for a good biscotti on a Sunday morning and this is the Meyer lemon ones. Yes, it is naturally flavored. Here is how they look. Here is the nutritional information. A serving size is considered to be two pieces. And here are your ingredients. 
The chocolate croissants are in at Trader Joe's. Um, I think they're seasonal. These are two in a bag, which is a little upsetting because, you know. And here is a shot of the nutrition as well as the ingredients. If you like their croissants, you will definitely like these ones. If you are a fan of chocolate, I opened it. These will be gone in short order. Um, for two, they're pretty pricey. I'll try to link below the prices for you. In my last haul, I showed the um, butter croissants. Those are so amazing. Uh, excited for these to come back. Some new items now. We have the peanut butter caramel coated popcorn. It is a vegan treat. And let me just tell you, these are delicious. I've already tried one. So there's six servings in here. A serving is considered a half a cup. Here's a shot of the back. Also new that I was contemplating whether or not I was going to mention, but I will mention it for the sole purpose of, I'm not a huge fan. Um, these are the Hula Crunch Popcorn Rice Cracker Mix. It's supposed to taste like a Hawaiian snack. Um, the popcorn is all on the top. You can't get the crunch unless you empty the bag out or you reach all the way to the bottom. Here are the ingredients. I will say it reminded me I tasted barbecue and then fish. Those were the two um, tastes that I got. And I was not a huge fan. Um, some people love them. I'm not one of them, but I thought I would mention it just for that. If you were curious of trying them, if you're not a barbecue flip fa fan or <laughs> you're not a fish fan, these are probably not something that you're going to enjoy. <sighs> but everyone enjoys these. How can you not? The patio potato chips are back. So they first came out, I bought four bags of them because I know they're very hard to get. And guess what? This week when I went, they didn't have any. So um, if you like them, grab them now. This is a mixed bag of different kinds of potato chips. They have barbecue flavor, ketchup, salt and vinegar. They're so, so good. And they only come out this time of year. Here's the bag. Try to get that for you. Don't want to ruin any of them, but here are the ingredients. And these are my absolute favorite chips that Trader Joe's sells, I think, potato-wise. They are super addictive. Um, and honestly, I'm gonna. I'm, I, I already miss them. I, re I already miss them. I hope they have more stock, and it wasn't just the one. Also back are my summertime favorite dark chocolate watermelon sticks. Um, these are these last forever, by the way. You can eat them all year round, even after they're open. They're still good. I mean, it took us about 10 months to get through this little bag. But they were good on month 10 when we were eating them in the winter. So five sticks per serving. There are nine the ingredients are kind of hard to see. There we go. And here are the nutrition facts. I probably showed these in my last uh, summer haul. These are so watermelony and delicious. All right, we've got some beverages that are familiar and some that are new. My ultimate favorite is the sparkling watermelon juice. Uh, this is one of the best um, things I think that I've found beverage wise at Trader Joe's besides like their coffees that I love. This is just the watermelon with the carbon and the citrus and it is 60 calories per can, 60 calories per can. There are four cans in here. I buy these by the dozen. I have them all year round and I just love them. 
This is the sparkling white tea pomegranate juice beverage, also seasonal, also back for a return this year. Here is a shot of the back. It is 10 calories for a can. So these are really great soda alternatives because they don't have any added sugars. It's just the sugar from the pomegranate. So it's got your uh, brewed tea, it's got your pomegranate and your uh, citric acid as well as your carbonation. Now, this is the star. I have been waiting for my store to get this for a while. I've seen it about a month or two ago in other places online. I am a huge fan of pineapple sparkling beverages. Spindrift is amazing. These little fellas though, these little guys here pleasantly surprised me. Um, I, I'm not sure if I like these better or not than the Spindrift ones. So one can is 60 calories. There are no added sugars. The pineapple gives you the 12. And it's just the pineapple with the carbon uh, dioxide and the citric acid for maintaining itself. Let me tell you, here is the side-by-side -side comparison of the Spindrift, which they don't sell the pineapple one at my store, and side by side to the Trader Joe's one on the right. So Spindrift has a lot less calories and a lot less sugars. Um, they only have the three sugars and the 15 calories. This is 60 calories with the 12 sugars. This is what I'll say about it. Um, I think the Trader Joe's one is definitely more of a pineapple flavor. They put more pineapple into their cans than Spindrift does. Spindrift uses a quarter of a real pineapple in the entire eight pack. When I had this, I felt like I was drinking a quarter of a pineapple. So that's your difference here, here first. Absolutely love them both for different reasons. Um, Glad that I can get the Spindrift all year round. Right now, I might switch over for the summer a little bit to the Trader Joe's one. They're both amazingly delicious, so grab this while you can because it is not going to be here very much longer. As an insert, I've already gifted these Madelines, but I wanted to show you. These are the lemon um, Madeline cookies that Trader Joe's has to offer. They also have the regular ones. There's a shot of both the front and back for you. They are already gone from our repertoire here, but I wanted to make sure that you saw it, so I scored a picture before I gave them away. Um, grab these while you can. They're super yum. The sour cream and onion rings, those lentil snacks are back in. I don't know if they ran out or what, but they are back. They are on the shelves. They are flying off the shelves. I absolutely love these. Um, they're good till the end of the year. So if you like them when they first came out, I would recommend getting them again now. Here is the ingredients as well as the nutrition for you. And this, what I like is they have the whole bag, 340 calories for the whole bag. It's not that many in this bag. It's a two and a half ounce bag, but they, they're not your Funyuns. They're just better. I don't know what it is. Back this season, I was debating on whether or not I would buy these because I've seen them before. I haven't bought them. I'm thinking, mm, okay, they're probably going to be too sweet for me because they're going to have a, such an amount of sugar in them. But let me tell you, they're not as sweet as I thought they were. They're very good. I probably won't get them again just because I'm not a huge cookie fan, but I did want to try them finally. And I here they are in all their glory. These JoJo strawberry lemonade cookies. Another summertime favorite is the Meyer lemon icing and cake mix. Um, I'm a huge Meyer lemon fan. I like lemon. I put it in my water every day. 
and why not put it in some cake? It's light, it's fluffy, and it is here for the summer. So if you need to make a loaf cake, a cupcake, a cake, this is the stuff that you want to get now. They also have a new yellow cake mix. I looked at it and quite honestly, I'd rather get these fun ones than the yellow one. I'm not baking a cake anytime soon. It's good to know that they have it. I don't know how long they'll have it for. So now on to the new chocolate dough Bear Bells protein bar. This is the no sugar added 20 grams of protein. Snack bar, meal replacement bar. One bar has 200 calories. Here is a shot of the nutrition. And again, there's 14 sugar alcohols, but no added sugars. Ingredient wise, good luck reading this. These are the ingredients. You're probably not going to be able to see them because it's a black uh, background, but uh, the reason that we keep these in the house is for grab and go purposes. Plus, these are good until next spring, so they will last a while, shelf stable. And we've liked some of their other ones, not all of them, but this is one of the new flavors at Trader Joe's, so we grabbed it. So instead of coffee, because they really haven't come out with any beans lately, which is a little concerning for me, they do have their cold brew and they do have their um, make your own cold brew bags, but that's not our thing. The strawberry lemon um, hand cream, the strawberry lemon sugar scrub, both of those are back, as well as the mango tangerine candle. So if you like mangoes and you like tangerines, this is for you. Look how cute. It is small. And it smells delicious. Love their candles. I heard the trio is back. Some stores have it. Mine does not. Uh, when it comes in, I will score the trio as well for summertime, but this is a great candle. This is a great lotion, hydrating, um, three ounce hand cream. Here's a shot of what is in it. And this is only offered this time of year, so if you like it, stock on it. The scrub I've never used before, I did buy this. Um, it's made with fine crystals. It's got some lemon in it because you have to balance that strawberry somehow. Here's a shot of the back. Um, you apply, you rinse, it smells, and the people love the strawberry lemon this time of year. So that's what they got going on. And that, my folks, is the haul for June. Thank you guys so much for watching. This haul was so much fun. Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe, and I will see you here next month.